The 75 Shallow is now officially a year old since the reboot. I thought I would give an update and show you what's going on with it. This orange Monty cap is just ridiculous with its growth rate. I fragged a chunk that big from up there. I've given a bunch away. This thing's about to get to over to the glass. It's shadowing out my A cans. It's going to need at least half of it fragged off again. The green slimer base where I fragged that piece from is starting to grow out and do battle with the Duncans and that encrusting Monty. The Posse Pora, which was just a tiny, not even a thumb size frag when I got it, is getting quite large. The bird's nest, which I've tried to eradicate several times, is still growing wildly. I did have some Montipora eating Nudibranx that ate a few Montes. Been doing battle with them. The Stubbs, Tubbs Stellata is hanging in there, which I'm very happy about. A few new frags up top. All the frags are encrusting well and doing good. This thing is out of control. The tricolor granulosa is growing into that anacropora, the green anacropora. They're fusing together. It was also converging and growing into my bottle brush, which I've cut several huge chunks off of. There actually was inadvertently a piece broken off and fell to the bottom. And I'm just gonna let it grow and see what it does. It'll die or grow. So hopefully it grows and I'll have another chunk of it growing from the bottom. The Zoa Garden is doing quite well. I've got a few pieces of rubble in there so they can grow to it and I can thin them out. Kind of create some boundaries. Uh, there's some Sunny D's back there. This is kind of Acro Alley over here. I've got my bonsai is starting to turn the lights back on. You can see the, the polyps are starting to come back out on it. I don't know if it was the uh, anemones that were stinging it or what. I've got a weird growth. I forgot what they call that. But it's a red polyp, coral, acro. Um, yeah, it's got a weird growth on it affecting it. I don't know what's going on. The frog skin, or a frog skin, that was nothing but a little smidgen of white frag when I got it for super cheap because it looked dead. It's doing quite well. It's a slow grower, but it's there and it's growing. And then here we go with um, Acropora Alley. Got some new acros in this. Miyagi Tort is really taking off. It was growing up into that Paletta pink tip. The main stalk was huge. So I cut it off and now it's fragged over here. And all the other acros are just encrusting down nicely and doing well from tiny frags. And I'm very happy. The uh, Walt Disney is starting to encrust and do well. And of course the green slimer is just awesome. I had a little tiny, tiny fingernail piece of that chalice and it's coming along well, the Hollywood Stunner. I did lose my, one of my Van Gogh Cardinals but I was then later told that they have a life expectancy of uh, three to four years, which that's relatively short. And the one survivor that's in there is now four years old, three and a half maybe. All the other fish are doing well. I hate to add a fish because of her. She is just terrible whenever a new fish is introduced. That's a mean little clown.
but she gets along with all the others. And there she is at one year old.